Shahzad Poonawala. Now, Harish Salve is one of our top advocates. He's coming across looking very silly in the Supreme Court, getting constant whiplashings from the Chief Justice. That doesn't do his legal stature any good. And that's also because he's arguing a weak case. Constantly, he's being pulled up. The SBI uh, seems to be hiding information, presumably at the behest of people who don't want this information to be made public. And the government's just cutting a very sorry figure. And SBI and uh, the SBI chairperson most certainly are cutting a very sorry figure because it seems as if they're trying to hide information. Why be so cagey? Once the Supreme Court has given an order, isn't it incumbent on the government and the State Bank of India to go out and comply with the order? It almost seems as if they're trying to find some comma, full stop, some colon uh, to try and ensure that information is not made public and the Supreme Court is having to constantly go at them. It makes Harish Salve, it makes the SBI, it makes the government uh, come across is trying to hide something. Uh, I'm not an image consultant for Hari Salve and I'm certainly not here to answer on behalf of the council for the SBI. So let me put on some facts that need to be put on the table and I hope you'll be half as charitable as you were to Anjali ji. First of all, Anjali ji should know that little knowledge is dangerous. She has just spoken about the alphanumeric codes. Let me start by that and tell you how uninformed this debate is. You have another esteemed panelist called SC Garg on this panel. SC Garg has written a detailed article and you can confirm from him that the alphanumeric codes codes are actually not a code meant to match the bond to the donor. They only have a security feature. That means that if Rahul Kaval's company wants to buy a bond, they are not passing off a fake bond. And therefore, that was the only use. In fact, the law as it stands today does not mandate SBI, and Mr. Garg will clarify to you, to keep a record of matching the alphanumeric codes to the purchaser of the bond, the donor, and therefore this argument, let me give you another example, hypocrisy argument of theirs. In 2018, I think it was the Indian Express, but I can be subjected to correction. They had published an article saying that the government was trying to keep a track of these bonds by inserting the alphanumeric codes. Today they have done a complete 360 degree saying that the same alphanumeric codes, which they opposed in 2018, should be the ones that should okay. be used to So track hold the that thought, Shahzad, for a moment, because SC Garg is live on the show. I'm coming back to Shahzad. Please, please, please. just a moment Rahul, but Rahul, let Rahul, SC Garg Rahul. respond to that try and unravel because you were involved in the formulation the mystery of the alphanumeric codes once but these alphanumeric codes are made time, public can I match who bought the bond even if the government and the SBI didn't do it can a data journalist or a rights activist or a RTI activist do this match with who that bond got to is it the same alphanumeric code on both sides so uh, Rahul this depends upon uh, uh, the fact that the alphanumeric code, which was a security feature, not an identification number, which was not supposed to be noted anywhere. If SBI by any chance has noted this against the purchase and against the deposit, only in that case, the alphanumeric code, which can be easily supplied by the SBI to the Supreme Court now or to the Election Commission, because you can read the alphanumeric code on each bond by reading that and compiling that list, or you can have the list from um, the, the the government press. So you are answering an ifs and buts. If I ask you to be less calibrated because you're involved, logically speaking and from what we know in the public domain, is it likely that it will be the same alphanumeric code on both sides? Or will the purchaser have a particular code and the bond then make some changes to the numeric uh, when it is given to a political party? So Rahul, it's very, I'm saying very clearly, if it was noted against the purchase and the deposit, only then you can match. Otherwise, what do you match? So I, I, I don't think SBI noted it. If they did it, it was unlawful. And therefore, in my judgment, the matching on the alphanumeric code if supplied by the R So SBI, what makes you then, Anjali you know, Bhardavaj, so confident that it will be the same on both sides? Because one way of doing it is as the same code, Rahul, the other Rahul, is are, when Rahul, it is deposited, it could be a different code. Rahul, it needed me necessarily be the same points. code. Anjali Bhardavaj. Yes, uh, Rahul, what came out very clearly Rahul, today you have been again. To me, I'm coming back to you, Shahzad Bhai, I'm coming back to you. I'm just also trying to shape this debate. Give me some time, I promise to be fair. Yes, Anjali. Please, please give me yes. adequate time. You are giving us so Sh much time. Anjali Bhardavaj. You are not giving me any time. Yes. I think uh, what the court has made clear repeatedly is that there is, and in fact, that is something the SBI has agreed, that there is an audit trail, which means that it should be possible to match. The SBI has never disagreed that it's not possible to match these 
two sides and get who is funding whom. Today, the SBI has said that alphanumeric number, any other serial number that has been assigned, all the data should be put out. And if there is an audit trail and it is possible for anyone to audit, then we are assuming that when we get all the data, the matching will be possible. The alphanumeric number, like Mr. It, Garg said, okay. if that no, is so what Shaizad, is what's, what's clear is site, it might be audit. possible no, that activists like Anjali Bhardwaj no, can do complete. the matching. It is also possible they may not be able to do the matching because it may not match on both sides, which is why the SBI needed more time. But the fact is, that it's a step towards greater transparency and therefore the activists are saying let it come let's see what is available why is the government trying to hide this information then now rahul i plead with all the dignity at my command please let me complete my full statement and you will get all the answers you need nobody in sbi as far as i have tracked the proceedings has said we don't want to disclose these alphanumeric codes in fact it was their lobby which was objecting to it being put in the first place even as a security feature which i have explained to you in 2018 having said that today anjali has made two presumptions one presumption which sc garg has demolished that by matching the alphanumeric codes you will suddenly get ki ye bond is donor ka hai that is a presumption on her part secondly which she has been candid to admit in the starting of the debate that right now we are only making a quid pro quo assumption ki isne ye bond tathakatit roop se kharida to ye bond isko isliye mila which means that all of this debate is right now in a fishing expedition that a bond was purchased by company because it was raided by a particular agency and then given to the particular party it is all hogwash that has been proven by anjali because there's no concrete way of saying but there is a concrete way of saying one thing that infra gaming uh, future gaming which is the biggest donor as per the records has given 509 crores to dmk that congress was providing a lawyer to this company that dmk took no, money but the from reason you know that is because the dmk thing. made this information public that, the reason we don't please, know please, Rahul, who please, paid Rahul. the bjp is because the bjp has made that, that information Rahul, public I am you make the same to that. information please public then we can patient. talk then it's fair on both Rahul, sides Rahul, i will i will answer all of that I swear to God, Rahul, I will answer, but don't keep interrupting me. Please give me those three minutes you gave me in that particular debate. I beg of you, please. I request you. Now let me make one by one point. Now having said that, and I will come to you why Congress, BJP, NCP, Shiv Sena, others have not disclosed it, and why the DMK disclosed it. I'll come to that. Please be patient. Point is that you have. the likes of supriya shinet and the congress party making allegations that a company was raided and then it started giving the bonds to bjp do you know in the case of future in the case of future the the bonds were purchased first and the raid on them took place subsequently secondly they were paying money to dmk so we were raiding them and they were paying money to dmk secondly one juvenile mistake made by the congress party they said yashoda hospital in ghaziabad got raided and then it purchased a bond that was not the hospital it was yashoda hospital in telangana thirdly hetro for instance the allegation made by the congress hetro is a group that the revanth reddy has accused that brs gave them a big uh, deal on land and he the owner of hetro subsequently joined the brs and gave no, the bond no but you aren't answering my question at least these parties have made their information public that, after the wobi ni kiya na sir i'm coming to that Let i'm coming to that make its information I'm coming public to that. i'm coming to that i'm coming to that i'm coming to that i'm coming to exactly that now i'm coming to exactly this let me answer this in two parts first part is that first of all the law as it stands today and you can cross check this with sc garg does not mandate political parties to disclose to election commission the name of the donor of the bond this is as the law stands right or wrong this is the law therefore congress bjp shiv sena ncp jdu rjd all are doing the same thing dmk for some reason chose to not follow that and did it in extra transparency but here is the catch the catch is that majority of these parties dmk congress tmc etc still get their funding through unknown sources which the likes of anjali bhardwaj won't tell you and second question for anjali bhardwaj anjali ji with great respect and i have great regard for you just answer this question prior to this system by the way this system was upheld by bobde ji and a bench of three judges in 2021 they okay. gave it a green flag okay. prior to this system the cash donation could be made just 10 seconds rahul just 10 seconds i bear with me the cash donation that could be made to anonymous through anonymous 
anonymous sources was 20,000, which was reduced to 2,000. Now, Anjali ji, my question to you is that 20,000 limit of anonymous donation inculcated more transparency okay. or 2,000 so limit both, of cash donation. Both aren't perfect. Both are far system, from perfect, but which is better.